Greetings programs, welcome back to the Game Grid. Today I count down my top 10 games like Vampire Survivors. If you loved its genre-defining reverse bullet hell or bullet heaven type gameplay, then you'll love these survivor likes. Remember to tell me in the comments if you think I missed any games or got the order wrong. Let's go. Number 10, Gunsuit Guardians. A recent favorite of mine, fantastic colorful and crisp graphics for your character and the aliens, great choices to be made for your loadouts and upgrades and an awesome game for the Steam Deck. It's fantastic. Number nine, Soulstone Survivors. 90% positive reviews out of over 10,000 on Steam shows the quality. The build variety as well as fleshed out endgame and replayability is what sends this one over the top. I was tempted to put it higher in the list, so tell me in the comments if I should have. Number 8, Bone Razor Minions. Awesome retro pixel art give off an 8-bit 80s vibe, but that's not the only thing going for this. If you love the idea of being a necromancer and raising all kinds of undead minions, it's got you covered. Perhaps more so even than most other games besides Diablo 2. Number 7, 20 minutes till dawn. It had me at Lovecraftian in the Steam description. Use your runes to build a set of skills to survive 20 minutes. Most folks would agree that this scratches the bullet heaven itch almost as well as Vampire Survivors. It also has a fantastic stylized aesthetic with muted color palette that sets it apart from the rest, at least visually. Oh, and more vampires. Number 6, Just King. If you have a hankering for more than one character at a time, then Just King sets up a party of five for the beatdown. Instead of weapon upgrades, your build is your party and each run will be different as a result of their mix of skills. When you're done with one dude, throw them in the bin to make your group stronger. Number 5, Nomad Survival. Vastly different character classes, weapons, and even pets add up to significant replayability and at a lower price than even most of the other gems in this top 10. Aside from the price, the freedom of choice in upgrades is what sets it apart. Number 4, Spellbook Demon Slayers. It's vampire survivors on protein shakes with added complexity and a fab soundtrack. Take builds that work and stick with them like regular ARPGs but with manual aiming bullet heaven flexibility and replayability. Like a later entry in this top 10, this one is also notable for being made in Godot Game Engine. Number 3, Bounty of One. Another recent favourite of mine which dares to go in a different direction with a blended western fantasy theme. Big solo boss battles regularly and even a day-night cycle which affects gameplay. All that and split-screen co-op too. Number 2, Nordic Ashes, Survivors of Ragnarok. I've put this one so high up because of the combination of fantastic polish already, great customization, but also it's in early access and is being developed into something much bigger than it is now. The potential is massive for the future, with more Norse realms to explore and interesting characters to unlock as the devs progress. And now, my number one choice is one that a lot of folks are loving, including myself. Number 1, Brotato. In my November 5 Tips for Brotato video, I told you this game had sold over 280,000 units for $1.1 million in revenue. And since then, developer Blobfish has almost quadrupled those numbers with over $3.7 million in revenue now. And the train ain't stopping anytime soon. It's sufficiently different to Vampire Survivors that to love both is no issue at all. My favorite thing about Brotato is the balancing act of each upgrade and the true theory crafting of builds and character use that will only get better over time. 
in my opinion, it's the best alternative to vampire survivors out there. So there you have it, my top 10 best games like Vampire Survivors. How many of these games do you own and which titles should I have included? What about the order? Did I get it wrong? Tell me in the comments below. And thanks for watching.